Oh, you found my gun. I've been looking everywhere for it. No, this is my gun. I specifically placed it here a couple weeks ago. You're telling me you put that gun on the ground there a couple weeks ago? Dude, finders keepers. What are y'all arguing about here? He's trying to take my gun. I found it, it's mine now. Boys, I think we need to settle this with a foot race. Whoever's fastest keeps the gun. First one to that tree wins on my count. Three, two, one. <laughs> Finders keepers. <laughs> Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Now we've all seen coconuts and random things shot with firearms before. So we're gonna do the exact same thing today, but way better. Today we're gonna first shoot them with a firearm, as you see here, but that's our controlled test. What I wanna know today is what happens if you shoot them underwater. So after we blow up one in the air, we're gonna put one in the water and shoot it. And I wanna see what happens when the bullet travels through like a foot and a half of water and then when it hits it, does it explode as violently? Does it explode at all? Does it not go in because the water slowed it down? There's only one way to know. Today, Demolition Ranch is all about science because I'm trying to be monetized. <laughs> it's, it's for learning. Okay, we are live. We are ready to fire. We're gonna go back here. We have a pulley system rigged up. This GoPro won't go here, just realized, because of our pulley system. We have a pulley system, we're getting fancy. Today, Demolitia, we have steel braided cable. Usually we've got stretchy string, really bad for pulling, and a pulley system. So our friction going around these corners is gonna be a lot better. This is gonna be great. Here's the deal, shot the coconut, super boring. So we're not even gonna test the coconut anymore. We're gonna go straight to the watermelon, because coconut was, I thought it was gonna do more cool stuff. Then it did. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and shoot this watermelon now in the air and then we'll switch to underwater and see how they react. It's watermelon time! Yeah, she gone. Okay, there you can see, totally busted open. The nine millimeter passed straight through and did a bit of damage. So whenever it hits it, it makes it like a gooey mess. It like breaks all the cells up. Makes it very nasty. Now let's see if it does the same thing, but underwater. The tricky part here is I need the watermelon to stay in the right spot, so I actually hit it. It floats. I think I got it in a pretty good spot right there. We're gonna go ahead and back up and send it. Fire in, underwater. I don't even see water leaking out. Oh. It went really high and sealed itself somehow. <laughs> this is an inch underwater and just totally sealed itself. So that bullet went in here, out the top. I don't know how it missed this thing though, because this was floating in the back. Yeah, I just must have barely gone over it. Okay, we're gonna aim lower and try it again. Firing. All right. Safety on here. Oh, got on my foot. I'm trying to figure out which way it went in and out, but either way, much different. Let's go compare it to the other side over here. There's watermelon number one, here's watermelon number two. Cracked, went in one side and out the other. Inside looks fairly similar, but it just didn't have the explosive power. This is a mess, this is, a, this is about to get really muddy. Yeah, bad idea, Matt, bad idea. Next up, to be festive, a little pumpkin spice glade air freshener. Uh, <coughs> whoa! <laughs> so with the watermelon, we put it outside because the watermelon is so big that when this thing was underwater, the watermelon was like right up next to it. And so I was like, it's not even going through any water. But now that these are all smaller, um, I think we can put this thing in the water. We had initially built this thing to go underwater, uh, but then with the watermelon, we realized it wasn't gonna work. So I'll shoot this thing point blank right here. Then we'll put the whole contraption in the water and do another one. This is full. This range is about to smell the best it will ever smell. Giddy up, partners. 
expiring. It's gonna smell terrible. It's probably gonna eat the paint off my truck. Oh, there it is, floating through the air. That was actually way less dramatic than I thought it'd be. And it all settled really fast. <laughs> oh wow, that's what it looks like. Okay, this whole table is gonna smell like pumpkin spice for a while. In and out. Okay, let's try one underwater and see what happens. We have the contraption underwater. We've got the pumpkin spice to where it can't move. And we're gonna shoot it, we got about, about six inches away. Let's do it. Fire and hole. Oh, it's so quiet underwater. That was awesome. We made a suppressor. That might be illegal. It filled it up with, we, I can't even see the gun anymore. Still went in. Let's compare, let's compare holes. You want to? This is the first one. There's your entry. There's your exit. Second one. Looks about the same. Entry is more cracked, which is weird. And then exit, okay, fairly similar. Now I've got this giant nasty tub of pumpkin spice water, which I'm selling, <laughs> linked in the description below. We're gonna do a 12 ounce soda can this time. They generally explode, throw shrapnel everywhere, and they're just a big piece of metal when they're all done. So I wanna see, well first I'll just show you what it does, and then I wanna see if it does the exact same thing when it's underwater. Only time will tell. We'll find out in just a second. Firing soda can. Our soda can got blowed up. Oh, it's still some. That's good stuff. I think it went in there and out there, but very blowed up. Now let's see what happens underwater. Okay, we have the big red underwater. I'm gonna take safety off. We'll go get behind cover and fire. All right, we ready. My hands smell like pumpkin spice and big red. And I'm a fan of that. Firing. So quiet and awesome, I love it. Oh, that one, we got a bit of a waterfall. So it actually did explode less. This is our, how is there still big red in that when it exploded underwater? It exploded less. I think that's our entry and that's our exit, whereas this one was much more. Now, is that because it was underwater or is it because it went through a few inches of water before it hit it? I don't know, but we're seeing a difference. So we have actually done science today. You're welcome, internet. Uh, we're doing shaving cream this time. Look, the bees love this. Bees love Demos Ranch shoot days. All right, shaving cream. This is gonna be a wreck, but doing it for you guys. Okay, safety off. Let's do it. I just saw a branch covered in shaving cream fall from the tree above it. Yep, that was gross. Here we are. Straight past there though. Oh, gross. Okay, this is in. You can't see it because there's still more shaving cream coming out of it. That's in. That's out. Um, you can see it through shaving cream all around. Um, this GoPro got it pretty good. And uh, also that tree up above got hit with shaving cream. The gun also at home. Look at this thing. <laughs> Ooh, gun is disgustingly covered in shaving cream. Let's do it underwater, yay! <laughs> uh, we cleaned off the gun as much as we could and we put it in the water and you can see that there's still shaving cream like coming out of the chamber here and out of the tip of the barrel there. It must have just like shot straight back in there. We probably have a barrel full of shaving cream. Safety's off. We're gonna come back and find a huge mess in just a second. Let's do it, guys. This is the worst idea. Firing. It's so quiet, I love it. Oh yeah, that's yucky. Ooh, gross. Went straight through and out the back. As you can see, we've got a hole. I don't, I don't wanna put my hand in there. But it's, it's oozing out right now. The gun is so gross. We'll be back in a minute once this is drained so you can see. It's just gonna drain all the water down and slowly leave all of the shaving cream on top of the gun. Let's investigate and see what she looks like. Oh, I'm just standing in a big muddy puddle. Well, there it is. Let's go ahead and turn the safety on. 
Okay, now it's safe, yay. This is the worst. Up next, we're doing spray paint. And you may be like, Matt, you forgot to do it outside the water. Well, because my truck is parked really close, my beautiful black truck, and I was worried that it would just throw up a big cloud of neon green spray paint that would cover the side of my truck. Which it still might do. I put all this stuff on top of it to try to keep the exploding spray paint can underwater. We'll see what happens. Safety is off, and we are gonna back up to fire this thing. Here we go. Oh. Okay, the cloud went mostly this way. Ah. Oh, that is really neon. Wow. <laughs> we have the uh, can still in the bucket though. That is good. This ground is gonna be very neon for a while. Oh no. Hmm, hold on. Dang it, that is really on there. That, that's bad. Okay, oh no, it's coming off. It's coming off. Oh. Be right back. <laughs> Ew. Oh, that was my, my eight. That was a good GoPro. It is definitely gonna be neon. The lens came clean though. It's just definitely gonna be neon for a while. As is my hand, cool. We should have just got like, why did I not do black spray paint? That would have made so much more sense. Everything we have out here is black. Oh, neon green's pretty cool too though. Oh, this is a mistake. There she is, in and out. Uh, the gun, definitely covered in green. I regret my decisions today. This though, was my second worst idea. Are you guys ready for the first worst idea? Oh hey guys, you're still here? We're gonna put propane underwater. Thought about doing it out, and thought nah. Let's just go straight to the action. Propane bottle, totally full, underwater. First worst idea I've ever had. Giddy up, partners. Dang it. I'm nervous. Pull it, you guys saying pull it? I'm just like worried, like what if a fireball just erupts or it shoots that thing straight at my truck? Okay, let's go. No more talking, more action, let's do it. I'm alive! <laughs> Dang, that, ooh, that's stinky. That's some stinky stuff. And somehow it's still in the bucket. Sweet. Ugh, I much preferred the pumpkin spice smell to this. All right, there you go, Demolitia. Ooh, that's cold. In and out. We lost all of our propane. That was cool. I got one more idea. I don't know where it ranks in the rankings, but it's, it's an idea, so it's probably good. I was thinking for our last shot, we'd just throw a bunch of random things in there. And then we'd shoot them with a 50 BMG. <laughs> we're gonna We're gonna get a little bit further away, though. Cause it's gonna, there's propane right there. Uh, the Serbu RN50, we are firing off this super high tech shooting platform. I just ordered this. It's from Russia. All right, firing. Man, how should I hold this? Okay, oh, I'm nervous. Did I go over the top? I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know where it went. I sighted this thing in a few days ago and I don't think I flinched. Not that bad. We'll try it one more time. I'm not sure where that 50 BMG just went. So in the last video I had this gun, everyone's like, Edwin showed us how to do it. It's with the, that. that's how you actually get to come back out. So thanks Edwin, you the man. Uh, I did a little sighting in off camera and turns out it was way off. So now I know where to aim, where to hold this thing and we should be able to be much more accurate with it. Here we go, ready Demolitia? Hopefully we see some fireworks this time. Let me figure out how to hold this thing so I don't cut my hand off. Firing. Oh my gosh. She went boom. Definitely had a propane tank, I can smell it. Here's where I was aiming. It was just, our sight got way off somehow. Uh, <laughs> watermelon, 
gone. Oh man. Um, we also have a bunch of big reds. Looks like that one is leaking. Yeah, that's, that one's empty. Oh, that one's that one opened itself up. Oh, it's so gross around here. Yep. Now, where the heck did the propane tank go? That's the question. There were two watermelons in here. Here's one that didn't get hit very well. Here's one that did. They like just took all the inside and just scooped it out. Gross. Okay, we're gonna go find the propane tank. Ow, it's cold. It's still pouring propane out of it and it's frosted over. Ow! <laughs> it's freezing cold. You gotta admit, pretty good hit. Listen. Ow, shoot, man, that's freaking cold. Okay. We got a lot of science done today. Thanks for watching Dibblish Your Head. I love you! And I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby! for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you! I was gonna do that. It would be really cool. I'll see you next time. <laughs> I feel like this is the ultimate walk of shame right now. Like I just got no shoes on. My socks are soaked in big red. I'm gonna walk in and Mary's gonna be like, what happened? I'll be like, I don't wanna talk about it.